Hey there everyone, before we get into the video, I wanted to let you know that now that the capture card situation has been figured out, uh, we will be live streaming, and it will be starting this weekend, right here. So if you want to check that out, uh, there will be a placeholder up on the channel as well. Uh, but we will be starting on the 25th, which is a Saturday, I think, and uh, we'll be starting at 2 o'clock, going till 5 p.m. Eastern. And I uh, hope to see you there. So, now then, let's get on to the video. Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're, well, tonight, I'm recording this super late, actually. Uh, so, t tonight, or whenever you're watching this, we're gonna go over the uh, mythic hero that will likely be on the banner this time around, as well as uh, some of the ones we know about, and some of the ones that I am predicting. And you will note that this one is going to be a little bit different uh, structure compared to before because last month is when chaos kind of broke loose and IS, uh, well not last month, I think it wasn't, it wasn't December? November or December, uh, there was a special heroes banner and then we didn't know who was going to be on what, I think it was December. And last time we ended up getting a whole slew of legendary and mythic heroes plus the three houses leaders. And that's it. <laughs> so, um, there was quite a bit of skippage going on, and uh, I, I have made notations properly uh, according to what we can see here. So, let's just go ahead and start off, because I have a pretty good idea of who the Mythic Hero is going to be this month. Uh, and we'll back that up with a little bit of data mining stuff. Uh, so, if you don't want to be spoiled for that necessarily, if you haven't heard about it already... Uh, I'll be covering that at the very end, so you're you're free. I'll give you a, a warning before we get to that. Um, this guy right here, the the heart and soul of Mythic and Legendary banners, uh, the heroes that we know are coming back, that being Elwood, Ephraim, Lucina, Hector, Yoon, and Leaf. Uh, it's sparse compared to last time. Um, we only had a couple slots open previously. And, you know, realistically, we don't have that many spots open this time around either. Um, but you will note we only have one red uh, legendary slash mythic hero here, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, and it's a big deal because the red pool is normally super congested, uh, but they did us a favor last time to kind of like wipe that out with uh, the special heroes banner. We don't have that many coming back, and that, of course, will make me very suspicious because why wouldn't it? <laughs> Normally, uh, I mean, like, I feel like half of the pool for Mythic and Legendary is probably, like, red. Uh, that's how badly it's skewed. Colorless has caught up. Um, blue is also pretty saturated. Green, I think, is pretty balanced for the most part. Um, but everything else is kind of off-kilter by, uh, by red and, and blue to an extent, I suppose. Um, but that makes me think that our Mythic Hero this time around will, in fact, be red so either a red tome or a red bow uh maybe a red dagger i, d I doubt it uh but more than likely a sword because there's a lot of sword characters in fire emblem don't know if you knew um and they don't always go with alternative options unfortunately so that was kind of the first tip off uh that i had going in like we only had elowood coming back that seems fishy to begin with um so Let's talk a little bit about what happened with the special hero, double special heroes uh, focus banner thing that happened. They skipped over a lot. <laughs> uh, I think it was a way for them to kind of play catch up. I've talked about this before, um, but they skipped over a handful and they actually like went further out into um, summoning banners that had happened after some of these guys here. So. Uh, those include, um, who we have, Sigrun, uh, Picnic Lucas, Bride Sigrun, Picnic Lucas, uh, Fallen Brakut, he was never back on one, uh, and then we have some summer units, that being Leggarn, uh, Helbindi, Lin, and Wolt. So they were skipped over, they were not included in the uh, Special Heroes double banner extravaganza thing that we ended up getting uh, a few weeks back. And we don't really know what's happening with them because after the, the summer banners, if you recall, we had three houses release 
in late this in late uh, July, and that's when uh, all of these banners had ended, and we had three houses come out, and so technically, the the skip, the time skip, <laughs> if you will indulge me. Uh, that that took place and now we don't really know what's happening with these guys We do know that the three houses units were in the last banner and so if we are Just putting our heads in that kind of space right More than likely uh, I think they're just moving forward and they will include some of these units not Perkut, obviously because he's in the normal pool uh, They they may come back on a double special banner at some point I don't really know. But for the purpose of this video, I have to kind of assume that they just skipped over them. I don't know why they would have skipped over them, uh, but I, I think that's maybe what happened. If it didn't, and we're all just joshing around, uh, then more than likely what we're going to see is Bride Sigrun and Picnic Lucas and Summer Walt, I guess. <laughs> I guess he would be the next one up, because uh, green has two, blue has two, red I think we're looking at for mythic, and then so that would leave one. Um, but the only thing that doesn't necessarily change is colorless, because leaf, of course, uh, is our only representative. And I have actually tallied all of the banners that have happened, and um, there, this, there was a moment <laughs> where some colorless units got demoted. And it started happening in like late summer, early fall. Um, so we don't really have another colorless representation until Halloween Dozla, if you can believe that. So after Dancer Neff and Brave Camilla, the next one up is a Halloween unit, which is kind of crazy. Um, colorless is going to be hurting a bit, <laughs> like, like a lot. Uh, so I don't know how they're necessarily going to fill that in. Uh, they used up, you know, two good options that they had in that double special banner. So I don't know what they're going to do. I honestly don't know what they're going to do. Um, but this is the, the colorless units that we're predicting here. Those are most definitely going to be on this banner. Unless they're skipping over specials entirely. I don't know. We'll kind of have to wait and see. And play it by ear but I think more than likely the ones that have been skipped they are done they are over they will make an appearance on a double special at some point uh, and we're just kind of moving forward into the future and so that means um, since we had two three houses banners kind of almost back to back uh, we're looking at those now <laughs> so yay uh, we have female Violet who is technically on the house leader banner um, and then there was also this thing where male Byleth appeared in the mythic banner for that month because that's when Sothis showed up It's 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 gonna get it's gonna get hectic. It's gonna get hairy uh, But female Byleth technically came first so she is the first red candidate that we have after this post skip kind of stuff um, Male Byleth might show up on the February banner which I think is when Sothis is back but then again I also think that that is a red full month February so probably not never mind just ignore that I said that and uh, continuity is not a thing uh, blue we're looking at Petra green we are looking at Hilda and uh, colorless as I've said brave Camilla and dancer Nephany so that's who we've got uh, it's slim pickings that, that's kind of what what we're, what we're at where we're at what we're dealing with um, again the brave heroes kind of come after that and then we're straight into dance banners and then uh, Halloween for the most part so this is kind of what it looks like I don't I don't know I'm uneasy I'm uneasy because I don't know what's happening with those guys over over on the uh, the right hand side of your screen but I guess we'll see right <laughs> sure why not uh, that just leaves the mythic candidate and uh, as I said before this is the part where we're going to talk a little bit about the data mine that did happen um, a couple weeks ago at this point I think but I don't want to talk about it until you know obviously we had the the, the full-on banner uh, prediction type thing going on here uh, so let's get into it if you don't want to be spoiled you should click away now uh, this is who I'm predicting as the next mythic hero 
I know. Very brave. I, I know. It, it takes a lot of courage to come up with a prediction this bold. Um, uh, Leaf. <laughs> I think we're gonna get Leaf. Um, and I'm gonna take it a step further to say that uh, with his inclusion now, we are going to get a Fade Channel, uh, probably like very, very late January slash early February. And, uh, we're going to have the, um, Divine Codes explained. There's going to be some more information regarding the whole, uh, the, the Ether Raids type game mode type things, um, which I also kind of include the, um, the Mjolnir Strike, that, that whole thing, the Rooker Siege, those are all kind of like Ether area raid game modes for, they, they stick with my mind. Anything involved with Thor, how about that? We'll, we'll say that. Um, I think we're going to get a lot more information on that whole background situation that's going on. Um, I don't think we're going to be seeing a, a mythic Thor anytime in the, in the immediate future, at least. Um, but here's here's the main reason that kind of clinched it. Uh, we have the weapon that Leaf was using, and I'll, I'll paraphrase, I won't read it verbatim. Um, but uh, Hertz Devil on Reddit, with that uh, Plumeria flare. See you, friend. Um, <laughs> They uh, essentially go on to say that uh, it's no longer an enemy-only skill, the weapon uh, that Leaf would use, and um, it doesn't change any behavior of the skill, but it might affect how it appears in the game. Um, and I think we had a similar situation happen with Sinmara last year, which is... Um, Surger's weapon, if you're not familiar. I think it was his, and I think it happens uh, a little bit before he was on the banner with Yolgur, uh, way back when, when we're looking in past books here. So, with that said, uh, it, it seems like a similar situation that we've had before, uh, and Hertz goes on to explain that um, there's really no reason to do this because it's a prior skill, like it's an old skill, um, there's no reason to like re-update it. We haven't seen Leaf on um, on a map or anything like that. Uh, and the only reason that they would change the way that it interacts within the game is if Leaf became playable. Again, similar to uh, the the Surter situation. Um, that said, more than likely, it's him. <laughs> like. I don't know. It, 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 when, when you stack everything up like this, um, there's a, a very serious lack of red units uh, for the returning pool. Um, there's a pretty clear indication of who's going to be there for the red. Uh, I mean, we could go further. Like, we could have Hubert, and it could be um, a colorless unit that we're going to have, but I, I don't think that's what's going to be. If it's not a red unit, it's almost certainly going to be a colorless unit because they are hurting for colorless representation, and at some point, they're either going to they're either going to have to um, issue a, a recant of who's going to be on what banners, or they're just going to have to start doing more colorless units, um, and that's that's kind of all there is to it. Uh, but when you couple all of that with the fact that Leaf's weapon is now in the game and it interacts differently, uh, I think that kind of gives the best indicator possible. Um, so. More than likely, that's what I think we're looking at. Um, those are the units I'm predicting to the best of my knowledge right now because, again, we don't know what's happening with those skipped units. Uh, I will be disappointed to see Leg Yarn skipped over because Swift Sparrow 3 is always a super nice skill to have. Uh, and, you know, Blue Pool is, uh, is not terrible to pull on. Um, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? So, uh, those are my predictions, but they may not be yours, so let me know in the comments who you think we're going to be seeing on the next Mythic Banner. Again, I think that comes out on uh, the 30th, for me, the 29th technically, but for Eastern it would be uh, January 30th. Uh, trailer will probably drop a couple days before that, two, maybe three. Uh, the I mean, we had the Tokyo Mirage Sessions Star is Born trailer drop like five or six days before the actual banner came out. 
Uh, so who really knows at this point? I don't know. It may drop tonight. I hope not. Because that would not give me a lot of traction. Uh, but, it, you know, it's whatever. So, there you go. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. Again, be sure to check out the live stream that is happening this weekend. I think I put something in the beginning of the video for that. I hope. Um, and subscribe if you want to come back and hang out with us again. Because uh, we have more stuff coming up. The Fey anniversary coming up in February is going to be absolutely crazy. Choose Your Legends is still going on. Uh, and we'll do kind of an update on where everybody's at when they release that. I think on probably like day four they'll give us mid-range stats um but there you go that's it for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you next time